Okay, what we're going to do here today is take out, a rebuild a Envirotech Ritchie hose. Um, I think they call this the seal right um, hose from uh, Yellow Jacket or Ritchie. Uh, the repair um, kit is a Yellow Jacket 19040. And if you guys are familiar with Johnstone, which is a natural uh, national supplier, it's a B13539. So we're gonna we're gonna repair this uh, seal right hose um, right now. So, uh, this I don't know if there's a correct way or a published way to do this. Um, I've kind of learned this by trial and error. There's a C clip retainer in there. You're gonna have to get a good pair of of uh, clip uh, removal tool. You just take that out. So that's one portion, so we put that to the side. And then the thumb screw part just slides off. With, without that retainer C-clip there, it just pulls right out. Now here comes the tricky part. There's a number of ways to get this off. Um, the best way I've found, and sometimes it's almost impossible, you've got to be very careful because as you're using, I'm going to use just a, a putty knife here. Um, you have to be careful because it, it can slip out. There's two grooves here. There's a groove here and we slide it across into the second groove. What I like to do is take the putty knife all the way to the to almost the hilt here where it's where to the handle where it's a lot stiffer and unscrew it that way. All right. It started to go. I just bring the putty knife down. See, this is where it could be care you have to be careful here cuz it tends to slip out. So what you can use is use maybe uh, a small pair of channel locks gently here and then and then utilize a putty knife to get to get it off through the, the grills. A lot of times, sometimes they're very difficult to do, sometimes they're very easy to do. This one was very easy to do. I got lucky. I'm glad because now I'm filming it. So you just unscrew it with the putty knife like it was a large flat blade screwdriver. And um, it's in there pretty good. So you just screw and screw, you have the internal gasket and eventually you'll be able to get it all apart. Just note the direction of the parts here as I drop the spring on the ground. That's the assembly. All right. You have the spring, the seal or the seat, all right, and then the cap. That's what depresses the Schrader, so that goes down that way. And that goes on top. Why I'm replacing this is because I, I was a knucklehead and I put this on. This gasket in here, this O-ring in here, is a little burnt because I put it on a unit that was a little warm. I just finished uh, soldering, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw these away so I don't mix them up with the new set. Uh, you have to hang on to this retainer clip because the new one does not come with the rebuild kit. So I'm just going to trash these for now. And uh, we'll stop there. I'll pause it and then we'll put it back together. That's what it looks like there. Okay, we're back again. And I've gotten new parts here for the seal. You can tell that this seal is a lot newer. It, um, the the O-ring in this front part is very nice. And I always check the ring on the outside to make sure there's no nicks, make sure the threads are good before I put it all together. So it's relatively simple. Obviously, this Schrader depressor goes down, so you have a little wedge part sticking up. The spring goes on top of that. And I've noticed too, I don't know how they process these springs, but they always look rough along this edge on both sides. That's normal. This is a new spring and that's how it looks. I think they might grind them so they make the tolerance that they need. Okay, and then it's a real simple situation now. You get the hose. You have the hose. I like to do it this way. Come down on top of it, put the whole assembly together, go down on top of it, slide it off the edge, and then just screw it in. That way you know everything is is um, in the position it's supposed to be in. You got to give a little f downward force because that spring tends to push this back. All right, then we get our putty knife again and we screw the top back on. Be very careful with this because, see, the putty knife tends to slip out. I'm going to use my channel locks loosely on the throat here and do it that way so I don't, so I still have my finger so I can go to work today.
I don't know if they make a smaller putty knife. That would be good. That was maybe a little stiffer. Um, so I, I'm at the end of the putty knife now. So I'm going to go around this way until I can't see any more gasket. And then I'm going to do like I did when I first took it off. I'm going to go all the way up to the hill to the putty knife or the handle and screw it on to get that last little bit. Now it's nice and tight. Now the easy part, put this back on, okay, that's your, that's what screws onto the Schrader, just slides over, put that back down on the, on the deck here, retainer, retainer, let me get that lined up. And that's all there is to it. So now you know how to rebuild it. And this is for, the, again, I'm going to show you the, the package here. Um, this is for that light sucks. There we go. This is a Yellow Jacket Seal Right Repair Kit. Uh, Yellow Jacket's number is 19040. Uh, if you guys are familiar with Johnstone, Johnstone part number is a B13539. And you get one kit, and it comes with those three pieces. Uh, let's just remember to hang on to this clip here because that's a piece that does not come with the rebuild kit. So that's it. I hope I helped you guys out. Um, hope you learned something good. And that's it.